Hello everyone, it's Ben here from Ben's Experience, your ultimate destination for insights into web hosting and website creation. Today, I'm thrilled to delve into the world of dream hosts and share my hands-on experience with you. If you've been wondering, is dream host good? You're in the right place. Throughout this video, I'll be breaking down the positives, the negatives, and everything in between to help you make an informed decision. Oh, and stick around until the end because I've got an exclusive offer for you. DreamHost shared hosting, bundled with a complimentary .com domain name. You won't want to miss this. No more delays, let's kick things off by exploring DreamHost's user experience. The first awesome thing about DreamHost is how they keep everything simple and easy to understand. Right from signing up to handling your websites in the control panel, it's all straightforward from the get-go. What makes DreamHost's control panel great for beginners is that they only show you what really matters, plus the options are organized from the most important to the least. Comparing it to other web hosting companies, Hostinger for example, they also offer a user-friendly control panel, but it's not as direct as DreamHost. Hostinger gives you multiple ways to reach the same place, which can get a bit confusing. Now, when it comes to ease of use, Bluehost is my least favorite. Even though they use cPanel, or they offer it, it's not the first thing you see after login. So, the first time I tried Bluehost, I wasted at least 10 minutes figuring out where everything was. Speaking of control panels, DreamHost doesn't use cPanel, but don't worry, they've got all the important stuff for managing your websites, domains, and emails. I almost forgot to mention how DreamHost makes moving your WordPress sites from other hosts a breeze. They've got an official WordPress plugin that makes the whole process super easy. And the best part, your website won't have any downtime. Here's the simple breakdown. You start the process in DreamHost control panel by installing the WordPress plugin on your old website. And with just a few clicks, everything moves over from files to databases. Then, just let your domain registrar know about the switch in hosting and you're done. For a step-by-step -step guide, check out my video on DreamHost's WordPress migration available on YouTube. One cool thing I really liked about DreamHost is that it's super affordable. Unlike some other web hosting companies like SiteGround, DreamHost keeps their shared hosting plans easy on the wallet. And get this, they're not just any hosting company, but they are recommended by WordPress and they also rank an impressive 12 out of 359 on the list of most used hosting companies. Now here's a tip for newbies. If you're looking for the best deal, go for the yearly payment instead of monthly or by three years. When you pay yearly, the unlimited plans prices becomes the same as the starter plans. So it's a smart move to go for the unlimited plan where you can make as many websites and email accounts as you want. Speaking of pricing, let me introduce you to my offer where you can get DreamHost shared hosting for free, including a domain name. If you use my personal link, which is bensexperience.com slash dreamhost, to get your shared hosting for a year, which costs $35.40, then reach, reach out to me at ben at bensexperience.com with your PayPal or Pioneer address, and I refund you your $35.40 from, out from my affiliate commission. That's right, a great deal that you should not skip on. Moving from Namecheap, which felt painfully slow, to the speedy Hostinger, I found DreamHost to be somewhere in the middle, leaning more towards the quick side like Hostinger than the sluggish feel of Namecheap. 
So to sum it up on a scale of 0 to 10, if Namecheap scored a 5 and Hostinger a solid 9.5, I'd place Dreamhost at a respectable 7 in terms of speed. When it comes to customer support, Dreamhost performs well, though it may not be on par with the top players in the web hosting game. Before I dive into the details, let me break down how I reached my conclusions. For me, support is all about availability, response speed, understanding, and the quality of their answers. Dreamhost's live chat is up and running from 9.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. PST, covering a solid 16 hours of the day. Now here's the real deal. The queue wasn't crazy long, I only had two people ahead of me, and it took me about just 7 minutes to connect with a real person. Big shout out to Juan, he was quick on the replies and made things crystal clear for me. In my review of Dreamhost, I'm pleased to report that I encountered no significant drawbacks across various aspects of their service. Whether it's the speed, ease of use, customer support or pricing, I consistently found either an average or commendable performance. And there you have it, all the insights I can recall about Dreamhost. If you still have a question or need more details, drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. So is Dreamhost good? For beginners juggling multiple web WordPress websites, the answer is a definite yes. Priced at just $35.40 per year, including a .com free domain name, Dreamhost provides solid value for your money. And with my special offer, making it essentially free, Dreamhost becomes an even more irresistible deal.